and there's the fourth portal, the one that will take us back to the Ragnarok if we wanted to. Is it even going to let us off? Right, okay. So, the last of the side things on, we're on to the final bit, which will be Ultimatius Castle. And that music is Ultimatius Castle. Save point outside. But we're all here. We all made it, yes. Through time and space, friendship held us together. This is her castle. Finally, it has taken a long time to get here. You really think she lives here? You've come this far, she's... Whoa. Bit of a weird thing there. Um, so this is the future. This is where Ultimecia reigns, correct? Don't know what's going on, but since we're here, we have some time to finish our job. What are we going to do? We'll divide into two parties. Red team and blue team. Even though we split it up into two parties, you'd expect them to do things, but you can actually do it all with just one party. You do have to move the second party at one point, but other than that, You can quite happily make it all around with uh, just the one group. But our powers have been sealed by Ultimecia's servants. We can no longer use the following commands. We will have to unlock them by defeating her servants. The first of which is at the top of the stairs. All we need to do for this one is attack. Face my wrath for seeking thy sealed power. I can't remember what this one's called. Sphinx? Yeah, it looks like a Sphinx, so I'm going to call it Sphinx. Probably is a Sphinx. As you can see, all the other commands are sealed. We can't drain from it. I am assuming my junctions were actually set up. I hope they were. Because that healed us. Good. That lets me know they were set up. It's, a, it's an easy one. We've knocked its face off. the attack command. Oh, I just remembered there's actually two places where we need to move the other party. But with a little running around we can do it all with uh, the blue team. And that's the first one down. Megalexes. Actually, yeah, for the for the final fight, I'll probably just have someone spamming Megalexes. You know, we got a hundred of them. Release which seal? If I do the command ability, Renault will be able to recover, but she won't be able to revive because that needs the resurrection as well. Or limit breaks. Uh, draw, draw might be a useful one. No, it won't. GF has got to be up there. Item, maybe? Yeah, let's uh, let's unlock our item. Alright, with items unlocked, 
Let's head to the right. Or was it down there we had to go? I'm not sure if we're supposed to be up here or down there. Let's have a look around this way anyway. We don't have resurrection. Those green spots are what you use to uh, switch parties. And that rope on the left is what you use to summon uh, Omega. But we're not going to do Omega. Hmm, this one, this one should be able to be done. Now, I'm not sure which ones I'm looking for. We've got to have a look at some of the paintings. I'm not sure if you have to actually look at every single one of the paintings. Intervigilum, meaning sleep. Uh, we're looking for that one, I think. Most people I know should know what the uh, ones you're looking for are. Garden, the Vividarium. I'm not sure if you actually do need to trigger every single painting before it lets you uh, put them in. Is it that one? I don't know, I can't see from that angle. Have a look. Have a look, have a look, have a look. It's fish, woman, road. I think it might be, it must be that one then. Yes, Viator, the messenger. Alright, those are the three we need. Whether or not it lets us do it without touching all the others, that's going to be annoying. Oh, good. The title is... It's too faint to read. Uh, the garden sleeps the messenger. In the garden sleeps the messenger. Alright, so we didn't have to speak to all of them, we just had to do the one. lovely little painting there. And this dude. What's he called? He wants us to face his wrath for seeking thy sealed power. That's nice. Oh, and we can drain from him. So this is easy. Although I think it has a method of healing itself, so yeah, it creates little uh, little mini mini its, and I think it absorbs health from them in order to try and stay alive. Hopefully we can out damage what it absorbs. A mini pulse cannon. I'm trying to think what I should unlock next. I'm thinking GF might actually be worth unlocking next. Oh, I just noticed that the item command isn't actually unlocked. We have to unlock command abilities. Oh no, it was the revive. Items are there. Good. I got a little bit worried then, and slightly depressed. Nice hit, Zell. Yeah, 
Yeah, you do that. Oh yeah, and we've got the counter-attacks as well, so... Everyone had a counter-attack, didn't they? Did they? I can't remember. Uh, Squall didn't, because, um... Stupid Rosetta Stone, I kind of want it on uh, Diablos, just so that Diablos always has that extra one for no encounters. But it's a waste, because he's already got, like, times three. Which is annoying. Elemental attack. Right. Release with seal. Should I put resurrection on there just to... And then the next one I'll do GF. Command ability. I'll do resurrection and then... I don't plan on dying or anything like that, but I'm playing this safe. Who's next? Who is next? Let's go down here and have a look. Hmm. So that door is locked. Requires the armory key. This requires another key as well. Why do I feel like this is a trap? I feel like this is the Iron Giant. But that's not what I wanted to face. Fuck's sake, if it is, I'm gonna be pissed off. Oh, I fucking is. Now I really wish I had the GF un uh, ability unlocked. Hmm. Now one thing I know is. can't drain from it. I'm pretty sure we can't drain from it. But blinding it would be good. This could end up being a long fight if I go into this one now. Or I can go and find a different one and unlock GF and then come back here. Unlocking GF will uh, make fighting that fight a lot easier. So let's uh, head back out. I believe we want to fall down the chandelier, actually. There's an easy one down there, isn't there? The uh, church bell for ringing Omega up. We're not going to do that, as I said. Triple Triad screwed me over. I couldn't get the Holy Wars. It's one of the benefits of playing the PC version. The PC version you just get all this stuff for free. Um, the original version you actually had to earn it. Whee, we fall down. It's fine, we want it to be down here. Excessively long animation for doing so. The hatch is broken. Would you like to open it? Yes. Right. Down here. Uh, one thing you want to check before going up against this dude is do you have... Absorbs lightning... Absorbs lightning. 
absorb the lightning. And that is all you need. Using elemental attacks. Whatever I don't use, I don't like. You're supposed to, uh, I think, um, alternate between whatever. But all right, so we can't drain from it. It's okay because every time we attack, it's going to heal us anyway. The mega spark. Another bit of a joke for a boss, really. Literally all you have to do is have the... Uh, lightning absorption. And that's it. You're good to go. And apparently he doesn't have that many health, uh, that much health either. Rocket engine. All right, now I said I wanted to. Uh, I wanted my GFs to be able to summon. Mostly that is for uh, Doom Train. There is nothing else down here, I believe. Doom Train makes a big difference. But since we're down here, uh, that way just leads to the, uh, the courtyard, doesn't it? So in order to unlock everything, I mean we could go up and do Tiamat, that's a very easy one which we're already set up to be able to deal with. <laughs> Easy back to the beginning. There wasn't a door off to the right here, was there? No. Just some chairs. Some chairs for those, the uh, red team to chill on. The armory is an unbed, isn't it? I'll have to make sure that I remove drain for that one. Note to self. As it is, we're not doing that. We're going off to take on the one that I backed off from a second ago. Get paid. The amount of um, card manipulation that I was trying to do on the Ragnarok, I actually lost a seed level because it was taking so long and didn't work. Like I said, I did it right last year and it was fabulous, I loved it. This year, apparently, things just did not want to go my way. Which sucks. But anyway. I don't think Drain works on him. But since we have the GF of Doom Train... Wait, do we have Doom Train? I think I moved De Doom Train off to. Uh, oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. I think I moved Doom Train off to Irvine, didn't I? Well, fucking fantastic. The whole point of going off and doing the other one was to uh, be able to use Doom Train in this. Yet, some. Fucked hard reason. I 
totally... Shit. Um... And I won't be able to blind it either. Blinding it is quite an important one, even if it's not leveled up. Try the barmer on it. Diablos might be able to do quite a bit of work on this. I'm not sure, it depends on whether it's immune. Oh, it's not immune. Diablos is going to get spammed for this one. Diablos defeat is Im imminent. Oh, okay, so it's actually programmed in that um, physical attacks are useless. Which makes Renoa pretty much useless at the moment. Counter attack, counter attack. And another counter attack. Physical physical attacks will do nothing. Which is why I wanted the GF out. In fact, I'm not even going to make Manoa do anything because it's pointless. Manoa is kind of useless to Depending on how long this uh, takes for uh, Diablos to push him down. Oh, I may skip it forward, but yeah. Without Doom Train, this fight just became a hell of a lot longer. was very nice. The double counter attack there is funny. Break out a bit of Bahamut. Diablos, uh does a percentage of max HP, so it'll do the same amount every time. Diablos is level... probably around level 30, which means it's doing 30% of its max HP every time. So I should only need to do Diablos four times and it'll die. Three times, depending on how much bomb it does. Bomb up did a decent enough amount, which means one more Diablos might actually kill it. That GF is a waste of time, was it? I know, it did like almost 4,000. Uh, Diablos is level 30-ish. This would most likely kill it. I'd say... Ooh, level 45 Diablos would probably be doing max damage and would kill it in 3 shots. Maybe 2. Well, he's dropped his sword. Defeat his Imlet. I can quite happily Megalix here because I've got a hundred.
thankfully Diablos is actually pretty quick. I've got a hundred of those love love GG thingy, whatever. Could max out so well no, I don't think I'd max out, but oh, it might max out someone's uh GF summoning abilities. All it does is speed up how long it takes to summon. Diablos wins that fight. Considering I have Mega Elixir, actually, I'll probably uh, take Recover off. Really don't need Recover with 100 Mega Elixirs. In which case, draw, maybe Limit Break, the Command Ability. I'll do command ability, and I'll change Renoa's around. She can just be there with a revive. Oh, we got the key. And item spamming. Does that door go anywhere? Close from the other side. Use the prison key to get out. That one needs the floodgate key and that one needs the armory key. The armory key, I believe, is up on the bridge. Or maybe not. Let's see what's uh, up this way. A windy passage with a save point. Uh, this is the one that we need to... Now they're the heavier ones. I think it's whichever team has the more guys on is considered the heaviest. Which means I have to do some running around if I want to uh, go up and get that key. Alright, so I will... No, actually. What I'll do is I'll go down, switch them over at the beginning. Mostly, that's the reason why you need two parties, is... Uh, you, it, it's a little bit more efficient if you, you know, fight each individual fight with, you know, switching between the parties, like I think... Uh, you can do two with the other one or something like that and uh, it's slightly more efficient but I'm just going to use them to uh, activate some switches for me which means I'll have to move Diablos across to keep the no encounters or I can just fight my way through I mean the other team is quite low level and fighting the things in the castle won't make much of a difference. They're strong enough. I doubt if anything bad would happen. But there is a possibility... So I think to guard against that possibility, I shall move Diablos across. 
I, I really hate it. I mean, if they were going to switch, make it so that your party splits up into two parties, they could have at least made it so that there's two no encounters. If there was two no... I mean, which way are we going? Uh, up there and left, yeah. If there was two no encounters, then you wouldn't have to faff about with that. I mean, it's only a minor thing, but again, if if you're going to split the party up into two and have no encounters as part of the game, I mean, if you want to just have no, you know, remove no encounters in total, that would be harsh. But, you know, the fact that they do have no encounters, but they're going to annoy you by having to transfer it over backwards and forwards between the two parties as you move around. It's kind of shitty. I don't like it when people mess with my junctions. to run all the way around again and have to switch Diablos back. It's fucking annoying. Oh. No, cancel. The 80% no, that's the wrong way. The 80% one was on Diablos. I might delete that because if I'm shuffling Diablos bugs and voids, I don't have to keep changing their uh, HP or having to deal with that whole um, your HP has changed. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, dumbass message. Should lift the other team up. I think it's whatever team Zell's on, because Zell's fat. I'm not going to change Diablos across because literally all we have to do is take a step to the left and back again. I'm not getting I'm not switching no encounters just for this. Floodgate key. the other party. Yay! Success! There is a door there, but we won't be able to get in without the treasury key. There's a lot of running around for this, uh... Ultimatius Castle. And so far, we've had, what, a boss that you spam attack against, a boss that you just junction the lightning defense against, and a boss that you just spam Diablos against. Which one is next? Uh, wait, we got the, yeah, the key. the next one is going to be um, undead. We don't want to have drain equipped for this one. And in f no, Diablos won't work on that either. Doom train may work.
Oh, but I don't have Doom Dreamer on this party, which sucks. Not a big deal. Oh, wait a minute, no. Floodgate key, we just drain all the water out. Which means... What is the next boss? I think it's still... I suppose we can do tip that. Draining the floodgate just gives us access to the key in the courtyard. Which we'll have to go this way for. And the other key is up on the bridge. How close is that to Tiamat? Maybe we usually end up doing Tiamat last. Is that best because he's beyond the bridge? If he's beyond the bridge, then... Uh, Sure. Uh, to get to the courtyard, I need to drop down here. To be fair, Krista is probably one of the most dangerous. As you know, Krista is probably the, the most dangerous out of all the, the bosses here. Make sure I have everything. Actually, I already have. Except draw. I didn't draw holies earlier, so. I'm not gonna draw holies from Krista. That's not that. Alright. The Treasury Vault Key. Yay! Uh, should we go back and do that? Yeah, okay. Again, if you're using these points to jump between the two parties, you can cover more ground quicker. But that's not really an issue. No encounters lets us run around. It's just a matter of time. It is really a cool castle, though. Um, yeah, nice to see because like previous ones, they were elaborate. There was a lot of you know running around and stuff like that. Did it really have this amount of running around in any of the previous ones? Possibly, actually, but not with this kind of artwork and not with that bell. Bell is OP. Wait, did I get the treasury key or the armory key? Did that say treasury key? Yo, fuck you. Where are my important items? Alright, so where does it have important items? Where does it have the items that are actually relevant to gameplay? I think it was the armory. No, it probably was the treasury, wasn't it? If it was the treasury, I'm going to be pissed. Truth requires armory key. It was the treasury key. Oh fuck you, game. I suppose I got some part to blame on that because uh, I just assumed. I was wondering whether it was quicker to go the other way, actually. I just made the assumption that I knew which key was which. So that's bad on my part. 
but the fact that I couldn't look it up and find out what was in my inventory. Uh, maybe I was being blind and I missed it, but... Mm, the armory key's down here, is it? No, no, the treasury's upstairs. Yeah, the treasury's upstairs. Annoying to have to run around. And yes, I could have just switched to the other party and have them come and do it, but... They're not junctioned as well as we are. Use the treasure belt key, thank you. Now uh, this one... I think as long as I've got Quake... Does it matter if I have... What's my thing? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, how does this work? Oh, that was wrong. Uh, I've done this in the wrong order. Nope, there we go. That'll get it. Face my wrath for seeking thy sealed power. Catoblepus, what can you, what do you humans plan to do against the likes of me? Well, we're probably just gonna, well, you're going to heal us for a start. That's nice. No, we can't drain from it. Sorry, I almost nodded off there. I mean, Meteor means it's dead. It's the last thing it does. Well, I can't remember it, it's the last thing it does before it dies. Yeah, see, there he goes. Another simple, simple fight. Just need to make sure you've got like four or five thousand HP, that'll do. Once you go up to five thousand HP, uh, I don't think there's much that does more than that as an AoE. Apart from, you know, obviously the super bosses and shit. And those OP moves that scare the crap out of you. But as for regular stuff, nah, you're all good. Status attack. That's useful. Hmm. Limit break? I don't really use the limit breaks. Plus I have... I don't use magic, so... Between draw and limit break... Who are we going to do next? Hmm. 
Uh, I think we're going to go to the armory next, aren't we? Do I need to draw for the armory? I don't need to draw for the armory either, do I? Alright, fine, let's unlock the limit breaks. 